I'm now going to talk to you on, on a range of new products we've added onto the TV Trade.ie website, uh, which are uh, freestanding patio uh, mounting uh, mounted brackets. And we have a, in front of us here an example of two. We have a 32 millimeter, which is inch and quarter, and we also have a. Um, uh, a 50 millimeter, which is a two inch bracket. And uh, just to give you an idea how, how, when we'd use these and why they would be used, uh, traditionally for mounting a satellite dish like this, which is a Sky Zone 2 dish, what we would do is we would use the bracket that comes with the dish, which is a wall mounting bracket, and simply drill a hole, four holes into a wall, mount the bracket on, and then the arm comes out here and the satellite dish simply slots onto it and it's freestanding, or it, it's bolted onto a wall like that. Now that is not always an option for two reasons. The first reason it mightn't be an option uh, is that uh, you mightn't have a wall that has the right aspect or um, it could, could be too close to a tree. So you, you'd find that if you, you can't mount uh, the satellite dish on a wall. And then the second reason you might use it is if it was a mobile um, unit you were using with, so if it was a camper van or something like this, and you wanted to have a freestanding unit like this, what you do is you'd actually have one of these where you can actually just mount it onto a concrete block or something like that. And um, what you do then is you can mount your satellite dish firmly onto it. Uh, so it, I mean, there's a very much market for these and these are reasonably high selling uh, products on our website. So um, what I'm just going to do here, quickly demonstrate here, is you're going to turn over um, this bracket here. So this is 32 millimeter. I'm doing the video for both together because basically the same um, idea. This would be used now with traditional sky uh, satellite dish, I would say because the inch and, a, inch and a quarter, 32 mil uh, neck here is perfect on it. So what we do here is we drill a total of, there's slots here. What we would do is we pick a location where we want to mount this uh, particular uh, bracket. Uh, and, uh, and what we do is we'd use a, a drill, and uh, maybe an eight or 10 millimeter drill bit. We'd mount the bracket on the concrete and we'd drill four holes, uh, guide holes, exactly where we want to mount this particular bracket. And then we'd remove the bracket and we'd come along with a, a uh, a 16 millimeter drill bit and drill out those guide holes deeper and we'd come then and we'd get something like this uh, M10 um, uh, projecting bolt um, uh, anchor bolt here and what we do is we simply take off the top of this here and we'd slot this uh, into the ground uh, with just the projecting uh, threaded part here and we'd drop the bracket over it and then we'd use the nut and washer to bolt this into position and then as we tighten it at the very end it'll lock tightly into the ground and hold this bracket very securely into the ground okay now alternative to this you can actually just put a very heavy duty concrete block like this on the corner of it to hold it into position uh, depending on how permanent the structure and how neat you need it to have it okay now the alternative to, uh, to that then would be um, of course instead of using projecting bolt here uh, you could uh, use a bolt and actually bolt directly into the ground and that would have the, the sort of safety advantage that you wouldn't have the, the bolt sticking up and they're also uh, available on the TV trade.ie website and the procedure is exactly the same for the 50 millimeter now the height of this particular bracket here uh, both of them is 600 millimeters and this bracket here for instance this would be more suitable for larger satellite dishes like an 80 or 110 centimeter dish now the limitations of these is obviously the satellite dish um, is um, quite close to the ground so you have to ensure that whatever direction the satellite uh, dish needs to point you have a large amount of clearance before the first obstacle such as a tree or a house or something like this to make sure it works um, but you know there is uses for this bracket and it, it can be ideal it's a relatively low cost unit um, and, and it certainly works well now I'll just quickly before I, f I c finish the area of sort of freestanding brackets I'm going to give you a uh, an overview of another product we sell on the website which is sort of the, the mother and father of all freestanding brackets, brackets which is a tripod bracket that we sell. This is a very specialised unit. It wouldn't normally be used for ordinary satellite dishes but for much much heavier loads. Um, so we also sell this and this is um, this gives the uh, it's, it's a more stable structure than this. The bolts are put in and um, it's further out from the base and it's also a higher unit. It's actually one meter high and it's 75 millimeters on top. So just to mention that product because it's part of the same general range. So hopefully anyway that's an informative video for you and you can understand how you'd use this bracket here to mount uh, satellite dishes uh, freestanding in a patio area or on a solid concrete surface.